Now you never thought you'd see the day I made a high-risk hardcore Ironman. But ladies and gentlemen, today is that day. The RuneScape account that is over as soon as it dies. Not only that, I can't trade anyone, nor can I PK anyone for their stuff. So this is going to be really hard. There's a lot I wanted to accomplish today, including a lot of wilderness activities. So hopefully I'm able to stay alive throughout the entire video. Let's get into it. All right, the question is, oh, did I get, wait, why does it look so tiny compared to me? I think I got the outfit right though. How do I get a spade? I need a GP, right? The, the general store, bro. But I, I don't have GP yet. I do. That's true. Dude, my tweet is at almost 900 yeah, likes. Yeah, because I retweeted Stops. it, dude. It only had 600 Thank when I looked you. at it. And then I retweeted it, and then I had 800 like two seconds later. Dude, I'm dying to a mugger right now. Should I turn on my run, bro? Fuck it up, bro. No, just, just let, your, let him hit you, bro. Okay, I think you're trolling me, dude. Now, I'm not really following any guide or anything, but I am copying Fuse for just the start here, so shout out Fuse. I want to get GP to go to revs and train my mage just like him, but I want to do it so that I can go PKing later on. Oh shit, what did bro, Fuse use this on? on, bro? He used it on hit points. I guess we just use it on HP. Oh, smart. Okay. 11 HP, let's go. Thanks, Fuse. But where are these cake stalls at? Oh, Baker stall. Are you five? But how are, are these guards not going to hit me? That's my question. Wait, are you five thieving? No, I'm not, bro. Fuck. You're an idiot. Did it better. Does he think Please. there's men on Zaya? Yeah, yeah. I guess I am going to pickpocket a woman, dude. I got five thieving on the woman, and then I went over to the cake stall in the safe spot and got to 10 thieving and a full inventory of food. Now it's time to go get my 10k from the stronghold. Dude, I don't have a herb for this guy. Oh, but he gave me a strength pot. Who gave you a strength pot? Dr. Jekyll. I have $10,000. What should I buy? This 10k is all I've got right now, and I'm about to make some purchases before heading into the wilderness. I caught the Chronicle and some tellies for it, as well as the Cabbage Cape and Draenor, and then I bought a staff of fire and as many runes as I could afford with the leftover cash. My plan is to make my starting cash here in the Wildy from gathering steel plate legs, but I need a looting bag from these giant rats first so that I can get two inventories of steel plate legs at a time. Shout out Fuse for this too. What's the giant rat max hit? Come on, give me a looting bag first, Casey. Damn, it's raw rat meat. Ooh, I think I can fire strike now. I can. Damn, we've got all the way to 13 mage, still no looting bag. Ooh, let's go. Okay, we finally got the looting bag. We're already 10 combat, so we're kind of a beast right now. Let's go collect some steel plate bodies. Or steel plate legs, I mean. Okay, I think going up in a free-to-play world is the move. Baby, the steel plate legs. Oh shit, they're already taken in this world. That's not good. Okay, that's the first inventory done. Let's go back to a free-to-play world. No way. Oh my god, there was someone there, bro. What the hell? I was not sticking around to find out what he had going on. But yeah, I go to a free-to-play world so I don't have to run through the dragons and die. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, dude. We're on our first ever guy. <laughs> We're not gonna hit anything on him, though. I guess with the Staff of Fire. He must be a hardcore as well, right? We sculled up, dude. I don't give a shit. That might be my last ever steel plate leg. 220 steel plate bodies. That seems big. Okay, I can sell the steel plate legs for 650 GP each. And we're out of there with 142k cash to name. It's time to get ready for revs. I need 25 mage for Varok Telly or I'm just gonna instantly die to the first person who sees me. Fuse went to the wizard's tower, so that's where I'll go too. I picked up some wines at Draenor because these wizards can actually kill me. They hit so hard. I'm legit gonna, what are, they, what are their max hits you think? I'll check. Oh, dude, dude, dude! I got a wizard rope top! No way, bro. I'm actually... Dude, I'm spooned. Isn't that rare? No, Chaos Tab was the first thing that came up. <laughs> Shit, dude, I'm fucking... Dude, dude, fuck. Stop, these can kill you. You need to pay attention. These things... These things I know, are not dude. Game. I know, but... I know, but You're I'm gonna die to I'm a fucking wizard. Perp was like, nobody, nobody report these. Ditter, ditter, ditter! What? I'm pretty sure you just got chance, dude. They can hit six. 25 mage, it's time for revs. Dude, if I die right now, Iliop, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh. Nah. If I run into someone here, it's like bad odds, you know? 
I'm hopping world to save two GP. Now that I had law runes to teleport away, it was time to go to revs. I needed 100k for the entry fee, so I spent the remaining 30k on as many runes as possible, grabbed some cakes and some wines, grabbed the skull, and headed to revs for the first ever time. Oh! There was someone, there was a person, Ilya. There was, a, I don't know. 100k paid. Let's go, dude. Isn't it like now I can't teleport after a rev attacks me anyway? Damn, so I'm pretty fucked, eh? Who's gonna hit me though? I'm level 16. I was initially using this plugin that Fuse was using, which was the Wilderness Player Alarm, but it was just way too annoying, so I turned it off. So the chances of me dying just went up a lot. Dude, this is so sus, bro. What about the Ancient Ice Axe? I want to move over to the Goblin eventually, but I'm pretty sure I'll get killed right now. If I can get some Manta Rays and some Anglerfish and get my Mage level up, and maybe get a Bracelet too, then we can go over. I was a little AFK in the brain, and this guy with the MSB level 67 just runs past me, and I panic a little bit. I'm like, okay, he can't attack me. It's all good. And then this geezer, level 24, logs in too. I'm like, bro, I can't risk this. I gotta get out. But luckily, he logged out too. But he did cut my first trip a little short. This is my entire net worth right now, so let's reskull and hopefully get way more loot. I gotta go for my first PK on this guy, dude. Level 3. Come on, just one hit him. One hit him. Oh, the mage level. And he tellies. By the way, with the release of this high-risk hardcore Iron Man, I'm also excited to announce the release of my official merch. Go to ditterbitter.com right now. Pick yourself up a Ditter trolling or a Packwatch coffee mug. Or pick yourself up one of the hoodies, crewnecks, hats, or beanies. Or even the legwear. They're all available in multiple colors. Just go have a look. All the profits go right to me, as you may imagine. And I'm super excited to finally be releasing this as it's been in the works for like a year. And it's the next step in doing content creation full time. Please let me know if you buy something in the comments or in my Discord or just tweet it at me as it would really mean the world if even one of you guys watching this right now buy something for the store to support me. Just got a bracelet of Ethereum, didn't even realize. I'll use it when I go to the Goblin, hopefully it'll last the whole time. And it's also a big alk for us later for some GP. Yo, I got a super restore for my one prayer. I think that is actually huge for later, so I'll take that. We take those. Nice. I just got 33 mage. I've killed like 80 rev imps now. Obviously, I got that bracelet earlier. I'm thinking I'll go to 35 magic or whenever this skull runs out. And then I'm going to move over to the goblin. I would have liked to get some money drops by now so that I could have paid for firebolt. But I guess I'll just keep mine striking. Also, these people keep running in and scaring me, and sometimes they shoot my imp, which is not very nice, but it is what it is. Oh, shit. Oh, level 62. He try. Oh, okay, he's going for an imp. We just lost our skull anyway, and now we have a full inventory of good food. I'm going to get this bracelet on me and start killing these goblins now. Dude, I'm, going, I'm upgrading to the goblin now with the bracelet, Iliop. I want it to absorb automatically, right? Does the Entangle set give me bind too? Alright, this is my first time killing the goblins. How many charges do I have in this? 364. Hopefully this goes well. Oh, damn. I do hit hard on it. Can't really afford Chaos Runes right now. Nor am I 35 mage yet. Ooh, super store right away. We take that. I just ate an Anglerfish and it healed me 4 HP. Alright, that's 35 mage which unlocks Firebolt. So once I do have some money for Chaos Runes, if someone tries me or I just see a low level, I can try and kill them. Four battle staffs as a drop. It's not any rune item, but it is a little bit of money I can use to buy runes and sustain myself. Do I want a game of pinball? I certainly do. What do I even do? You poke 10 flashing pillars. You not poke other pillars. Okay. That's flashing, right? Five rubies. That's bank, dude. Dude, that guy is like eight levels away from eviscerating my life force. Jesus. Oh shit, dude. Two rune warhammers. Our first money drop. That's huge. Keep that warhammer in the bank for now. Like I said, we're going PKing in today's episode. Let's turn the KD on so we can see what we can get to. Hopefully the deaths stay at zero and the kills will go up. Okay, and that guy's one combat level off. Take it off my head too. Bro, there's a party going on right now. Damn, he died. Good line right Bro, there. level 21 just logged in. Should I go for it? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Mean me or... Kill him. Kill him. Can't spam click. Oh shit, you can. Less. You can surely one hit that. He's luring you. Damn, he's running multi. Can't follow that. 
another bracelet of Ethereum, which is a huge ALK for us. But this level 20 who I attacked earlier is just looking at me. It's mad sus. When I was watching Fuse do this, he was getting rune drops like nothing else, bro. He was printing money. Unfortunately, all I have are really these two rune warhammers and the bracelets of Ethereum. So I did sell the rune warhammers for low ALK price because I did need some GP. So I lost about 10k on each of them. Bro. I didn't realize how much chaos runes cost. I just spent all my money on them. <laughs> what? 40k. 40k. What? Bit of a financial error there, but we do have some chaos runes. We might as well use them. And if we come across anyone who we want to PK, we probably can. A hundred total level, dude. What's up, bro? Why can't I sell my battle staff to this guy? All right, I had to hop worlds and sell my battle staffs one by one to the general store to raise some more money so that I could go back to revs. Okay, I have 44 GP left, so we just got to commit to this fuse. These revs better do us good. Every time a level 40 with an MSB runs in, I hover my telly, but they never end up going for me. I wonder if they knew if I was a hardcore with that change. Oh, he killed him. Good fight. Oh shit, I just leaked on a hardcore. Bro. <laughs> yeah, he's bro. He's gonna come. He's, he's spamming fucking uh, Pip's friend. Yeah, we're calling Pip Act. Yeah, Pip Act. Shit. Up. Yo, level 21, should I go for it? I'm yes, going for it. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just finish him, finish him. Dad. Uh, what is that? And we still can't get our first PK. The guy runs out. I had no run, so I just left him. Right, I'm at 44 magic, 30 hit points, and 29 combat. I'm gonna go PKing at 32, 33 combat, probably once I'm 50 magic. But this is what one inventory full looting bag looks like. Alright, well my bracelet just ran out of charges and I just got another bracelet as a drop. 29 combat, hopefully it's not too damaging staying here. Ooh, runite bars, I'm pretty sure those are dog shit right now, but we'll take them. Alright, let's sell some battle staffs. 14k. Alright, we're restocked for now. 31 combat, 47 magic. I just lost skull again. Still no rune drops, bro. Foos had like full rune by now. I just got 57 death runes as a drop, which is pretty huge because when I go PK and it means I can use some blast spells. 14 manta rays. That's huge because my bracelet of Ethereum has pretty much no charges. I'm taking quite a bit of damage at this goblin. And I've still got no rune drops like Fuse got them, man. What's going on? I'm 47 magic, 31 combat. Damn, a level 32 logged in. Is he gonna hit me? He's hitting me! Shit, Telly, Telly, Telly. Why is it not Tellying? Telly! Okay, we're out. Bro, did I just see a rune warhammer? Did he just did he just switch to a rune warhammer? I'm not really sure what to sell for more runes, so I'm just gonna see what the 6k gets me. Alright, about 600 more casts. Okay, I just got 34 HP and 32 combat. I'm gonna do this for one more combat level before I go PKing. 49 magic. I'm going to be 33 combat soon. I don't know if I'll be able to get 50 magic for snare by then. Ooh, I just got 13 magic logs, so I can go do desert treasure whenever I want to now. Well, I don't know if that's true, but those are really clutch. I don't know that I really have a choice right now. I pretty much have no cash and no runes, and I'm only 49 magic. After I'm done PK, I'm going to want to train mage anyway, so I might have to just get one, rid of one of these bracelet of ethereums at the low alk price, which is going to lose me like 12, 13k in the long run. But it is what it is, I think. All this other stuff will only sell for a couple hundred GP, so I don't really know if it's worth it. But I guess I could sell it, because it's not like I'm really going to be using it anytime soon. So let's see. It does not look like I'm going to get too much GP from selling the sacks or anything. If I sell 50 right there, barely gets me any GP. I'm going to sell a runite bar and a mahogany plank each world, which is getting me a decent bit of money. Alright, final mahogany plank sold, and we have around 20k. We might not have to get rid of the bracelet of Ethereum, actually. Let me buy two water rune packs just for when I go PKing. The rest I'm going to spend on just fire strikes. Damn, I messed up the ratio of which runes to buy. Oh, well. Oh, finally, dude. Right before I'm going to go PK and rune kite shields. I literally have 133 more mage XP to go. So that's clutch. Oh, and a bracelet of Ethereum back to back with the rune kite shields. We just made bank, dude. 50 magic. Okay, this will be the last rev kill before we go PK. And those were two huge drops to get. So the secret is out. There's an itch I have to scratch on this account and it's PKing. If I survive long enough one day to PK in a proper set against PKers, that's the true goal. But for now, I'm just hoping to find some level 3 chin hunters who I can one hit with my very own hardcore Iron Man. We got snare for a 10 second hold and we got water blast. 
What's the max hit of Water Blast? I am 33 combat, so I will be able to- Oh shit, I gotta make sure I don't get killed by a green dragon, bro. That would have been terrifying. Um, I can hit uh, 14, so I can max hit these people at Chin, supposedly. Anyone here to one hit? Nope. Come on, come on. Come on. I need another big hit. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh shit, that's not good. I need a I need a snare. There we go. Is he gonna get the prayer on or is he gonna die? Come on, hit a 14. Oh! My first ever kill. And I think I logged in just in time, so I'll be able to see how many chins it is. Oh, I can see just like that. 31 chins, dude. My first ever kill on the hardcore Iron Man. Let's go. Obviously can't pick up 31 chins on the hardcore, but we can pick it up on this account. This guy is 26 HP, but he is all the way north, so it might be worth going for. You know, you never know. Let's see what I can do here. Free guy, come on, come on, Water Blast. Cook him up. Six? That's not good enough. I need to be ready to hit the snare. Ten? Nope. Okay, I need to hit the snare now. Fuck, I messed up. Hit the snare, hit the snare. There we go. Come on, I need back-to-back -back 14s. That's what I need. A one? Back-to-back... -back Ooh. A ten? Oh, this guy's got food, bro. What a sad man. Is that level 31? He should be able to get out, I think. I think I'm just wasting runes here, unfortunately. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, where's the back-to-back -back 14s, dude? That's so sad. Good fight. I need to log out before I get jumped. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. I need a snare. Is that a snare? Zero snare. Come on, come on. I need a 10. I need a 10, baby. Ooh, an 11. Let's go, dude. <laughs> We can't, I don't know why I'm dropping a match array. I'm not going to be able to pick that up. Oh, he only had 12 chins, dude, but that is still so hype when I get a kill like that, dude. All right, this is it. I've only got 25 run. It's a bit sus, but let's go in. Come on. Alibaba. Oh, he splashed. And he's got auto one, dude. I need to catch this. Okay, we caught it. Water blast. Go in. One hit him. Hit a 13, please. A two? In this economy, dude? Maybe he has no food. That would be the best case scenario here. Oh, I hit an eight to finish him off as he came back. How many chins? 11, dude, we're not getting too many chins out here, but it is very satisfying seeing the kill death ratio go up in the top left. Three kills, zero deaths. Alibaba! Is he gonna get ready to run? I need to snare him. I think I attacked this guy earlier. Surely that's a snare, he's like one mage. Yeah, it is, come on. Hit a 14, just KO him. Ooh, the 12 for the KO. My fourth kill. I'm pretty sure I killed this guy earlier, but it is still just satisfying to get another kill. Come on. Ten. Boom! I just killed another one, bro. 5kc. Let's go. How many chins? 30. Alibaba? We need the snare now. That's a big hit, though. Oh, one hit! We got the one hit, dude! Let's go! Let's go, that's huge. I finally got a one hit. Come on. Oh, that's a zero. Let's go for the snare. I think that will catch. I need back-to-back -back 14s. That's what I need. It's a big ask. 10. Oh, he's got food. I might not even be able to kill this, to be honest, if he's going to eat every time. Oh. Two-step him. Ho, ho, ho. You ain't seen anything like that before. Oh, a level 11. What's this guy's HP? 13, bro. That's the hit we needed. He's 41 HP. We're not going to do shit with this guy. And this guy's going to get out, too. I kind of don't even want to snare him. I'm not hitting hard enough. Oh. No. He gets out, dude. He gets out. Sad. Alibaba. 12. Oh, I splashed that. That's not opportune. Come on. Catch that. Catch that. Catch that. There we go. Okay. We have oh, he might be dead. He might be welcome to dead man mode. Oh, the max 14. GG, buddy. My seventh kill, dude. I'm gas. Come on. So many trees. Oh. A three. That's not going to cut it. Oh, I might have to snare this. Okay. He's an Iron Man, dude. He's not even running. He's a level three skiller Iron Man. You're bad, though. Nice Harkon status, noob. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the most satisfying one, bro. He keeps calling me bad. How many chances did we get? Only four, bro. But that's still the most satisfying one. 
Does this guy know I'm coming for him? Is it all part of the bait? I feel like every time I go for this guy, it's a little bit more risky. Ooh! Did we catch the snare? We did. We did. I just need to hit... Oh, I've only got 14 runes to my name, bro. I need to hit this 14. That's a big hit. An 8. Follow it up. Welcome to DMM. Oh, the 14 as he's running. My ninth kill on these guys. 26 chins this time. We're going in for another one. On an, another Alibaba. Has he clocked it? Has he clocked it? That's a big hit. Oh, we got to snare him though. He's running. Okay, we need to hit that 14 again. We need a max hit. Oh, no, we don't. We need a six. That's our 10th kill. You're out the game. 75 chins this time as well. That's bank. I don't uncut Sapphire. If only I could pick it up. Those 10 kills netted us a total of 200 chins on the main account. I did forget to pick up one loot. Okay, I'm running down on a free-to-play world so that I don't die to the dragons. 10 kill count. I've got 10 death runes left. I'm going to call it there. I'm very happy to have gotten to 10 kill count. I feel like I'm pressing my luck a little bit. It just takes one person to kill me and then the whole account is over. It's a hardcore. I've only got one life. But I have got 10. Oh, maybe I can get 11 kills? Oh, I can't hit him here. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, we're on 10 kills. I'm going to call it there. Work towards 55 mage so that I can alk a bunch of the stuff that I've gotten. It's one more level until I can Wizard Mind Bomb to 55 Mage for High Alk. So I'm just going to do that back at Revs and hopefully pull some more money. After that, I think we're going to start working on 43 Prayer. Alright, that's 51 Magic. A Wizard's Mind Bomb actually only gets me to 54, so I need to get another level. So 11k XP more to go. Three battles, four battle staffs in fact, so that's more money for once we have this Alks. Alright, I need more Air Runes. I think I'm going to spend them all on this, yep. All right, I just hit 52 mage. This will be my last rev kill for a little bit here. From getting 52 magic, I killed 88 revenant imps and I killed 433 revenant goblins. From the goblins, I got 1 mil total value worth of loot. And from the 88 imps, I got 170k total value worth of loot. So all in all, like 1.2 mil total loot from what we got. Honestly, a lot less than I was expecting. I was watching that fuse vid and he was getting a rune drop pretty much every kill. All right, I'm going to go to Falador first and buy these Wizard Mind Bombs. And then I'm going to go to Mage Bank because I'm going to need some more Nature Runes. I'll try the Mind Bomb. I'll try the Mind Bomb. All right, we're going to pull this lever. Hopefully there's no one there because otherwise we're dead. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to need a couple more Gnats. Let's see what we can buy. We got nine. All right, let's drink this Wizard Mind Bomb. Puts us up to 55 Mage and let's get Alkin. 32k off the Rune Kites. Uh, we'll do the battle staffs next. I'm pretty sure I should be putting an ether into each one of the bracelets, but I don't know how much ether I actually have. Up to 82k, just like that. I'm not sure if this is still a thing, but I'm going to put one ether into every bracelet that I can before I alk it to get the most money. Damn, over 100k now. Pog. Getting us all the way to, what, 390k? I'll save one bracelet just for there, and we can alk more stuff later, but we have 388k on our brand new Harkar Iron Man. I want to get this account AFK ready for leagues, which is coming in a couple of days, which means I want myself a D skim, which means I have to do Monkey Madness 1, which means I need 43 prayer, which means I need to go to the Wilderness Prayer Altar and spend as little amount of time there as possible, which means getting 100 Dragon Bones. So I'm about to spend all this cash on some Death Runes so we can go kill some Blue Dragons. Okay, I'm going to be using Water Blast. I just bought a thousand Death Runes, which probably isn't going to be enough to kill 100 Blue Dragons, but I'll buy some more stuff later. I'm going to get a bunch of water runes now too. Okay, and that is 3k water runes for a thousand water blasts. I might move on to earth blasts as well, so maybe I'll buy some earth runes, but we'll see. Hopefully this 15 bread will be enough to... So oh shit, I don't even have the agility to go over this, bro. Oh shit. Five agility. Had to go back to Gnome Stronghold anyway to get five agility, so I stopped by the Artie Cake stall to get some more food. Then we went to the Gnome Stronghold, got 5 agility, and now it's time to go to Blue Dragons. Alright, we're on a journey to a Dusty Key and some Blue Dragons right now. Damn, I have my Dusty Key, I'm poisoned, and I've just now realized that I need an Anti-Dragon Shield to kill Blue Dragons, or I'm going to die. They don't even give you an Anti-Dragon Shield, dude. You need 32 quest points and you need to start the quest. It's all over. I think I'm just gonna risk it here, you're right, dude. I guess the cakes aren't gonna save me if it hits a 50. This is probably the most sus thing I've ever done. This is sus, dude. This is so sus, bro. 
When I go to pick up the loot, these other dragons will be able to hit me. Yeah, this isn't worth it. <laughs> well, if you're quick, nah, if you're quick, if you're quick, they can't. Bruh. What? Just be quick. This is this is terrifying, but I am hitting really hard. Some might say petrifying. Okay, so how am I picking this up, though? Ooh, this is an opportunity. Oh, that's so close to it, bro. You gotta do it quick. The more you think, the less safe it is. I don't think Oh, that's... boom. In and out. This is not gonna end. <laughs> the probability of one hitting you eventually over 100 bones. I'll go to uh, Aussie World. I feel like that's better odds. Even if the odds are 2% chance every time you pick up a bone, you'll get hit twice in the 100 bones. I'm gonna get hit twice? Dude, there's a lighter in my bong. It fell down the neck a long time Oh ago. my god, counting. that's disgusting. Well, yeah, what should I do? Get a new bong. I could just dump it, it out. Tip it out, dump it out, yeah, what the hell. But but then I gotta, like, go to the That's same. pretty disgusting. Fuck that, just smoke it. Dude, I just have to hit... 10.5 damage. <laughs> Every water blast on average to kill these at a thousand death rates. You could get totally grab. You have totally grab. You're gonna have to buy more law runes though. Mage XP though, it's not like wasted. Okay, after a long debrief with the council, it has been decided that I should be using Telegrab to pick up these dragon bones, not risking it and running in and potentially getting 50 D fired. This way I don't have to get the anti-dragon shield and I can stay at blue dragons and stop wasting time and get my 100 bones. Okay, that's 53 magic, so I can actually start using Earth Blast on the next trip. My first full inventory of dragon bones, I have to drop my cakes for it. And we're telegrabbing the bones so that we don't die because no anti-dragon shield. I do need to head over to Mage Bank because I actually need more law runes for telegrabbing. And I'm going to need more runes in general to kill the dragons. First of all, I need enough law runes to telegrab. And I think I'm going to need to use chaos runes for the rest of these kills, to be honest. Okay, just straight up bought 100 law runes because why not? I'm going to buy a decent amount of chaos runes too. Okay, 700 chaos runes and 585 deaths. I've already got 24 dragon bones. Let's see where that gets us. And now I'm going to be using Earth Blast. Let me just tell you, it's pretty brutal getting here. I just used a whole inventory of bread, tanked the poison, and had to come back. I've only got six bread, so I need to use these baby blue dragons to box me into the spot again. Which is a bit sus. It's a bit sus, but luckily I've telegrabbed, so I shouldn't die from now on. Or at all. I was never going to die. Okay, that's another inventory. Let me go back to Falador. I'm going to bring my Chaos Run... Chaos runes on my fire staff now too because something tells me I'm gonna run through all this stuff. This is pretty sus because I'm poisoned getting hit threes for four minutes and I only brought two cakes. It's pretty sus. Alright, I'm cured with 30 HP and no food so we should be fine. That's 55 mage which is pretty huge in itself. It means when I go back to revs or if I go back to revs, I can high alk pretty much everything without a wizard's mind bomb. I'm about to run out of earth runes in here because I don't know how to do math so I'm just gonna switch over to the fireball after that for the rest of this inventory. Okay, I think I'm gonna end up doing five trips for the dragon bones anyway, because I'm just so bad at maths. It is what it is. I need 100 bones on average to go from one to 43 prayer. That's without doing a restless ghost or anything. I have 68. There is no way to get 32 bones in one inventory. So I'm gonna have to do two more inventories. And I think I'm gonna need more chaos runes as well. So let me just go buy that while I'm here. We got 24K left. Poisons again, not great. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty sus. I'm completely out of food. A 28 HP. This is pretty sus. Dragon's hitting me too. Ooh, okay. This is very sus. Very, very sus. Blue dragons drop any food? Because this is definitely going to kill me. Oh, they dropped bass. 1 in 42. I don't know about this one. Yeah, now this isn't gonna work. I'm 12 HP. I gotta telegrab this bone and get out of here. I hope I have some food in the bank. Alright. Teleport to Falador. Log out. Run to the bank. I think it's gonna poison me anyway. Please don't, please don't. Bro, this is crazy. I'm 12 HP. Do I have food? What's going on? I have one cake. 
I need to eat and log. Oh my. Alright, here's the play, boys. I'm gonna buy Asgarnian Ales, which heal two hit points each, and that should be enough to fend off the poison. If I can get through an interaction quick enough, that is. Bro, what is taking so long to go there? One Asgarnian Ale, please. This is healing me as much as I'm getting poisoned. Wait, what? It only it only healed one. It says it heals two on the Wikipedia. I'm gonna have to out drink it. Yeah, that's for sure only healing one. That's not good. Dude, this guy must be watching me like, what am I doing, bro? But I am just about to he heal from this. I am finally cured from the poison. Let's go, dude. 30 HP and an inventory full of beer glasses. I think I gotta go back to Ari to the cake stall to get some food, I guess. This is the last time I'm coming to cakes. For now. Okay, I should feel a lot safer with this inventory. 56 magic here as well, not bad. 37 combat. I'm gonna be at risk at this build the altar, man. 57 magic and 38 combat. I've got, what, 13 dragon bones right now, so I only need two more. But I'm probably going to use these Chaos Dreams and just fill up on Dragon Bones, just in case I get unlucky at the altar. Okay, and that is hopefully our final inventory of Bones. Let's bank all these Bones. 108, so we should have more than enough to get 43 Prayer here. It's going to cost us 5k or so to unnote all the Bones. And obviously, it's extremely risky. Let's teleport to Falador and let's walk up, or run up. Or, let's walk up. Let's save our run. Alright, this is the inventory we're going to be using. 12 Dragon Bones and the rest are noted. We have 9 Manta Rays to our name, and we have the Snare Stacks, just in case we can catch a Snare on a low level if they get on us. But if a high level gets on us, like a level, I don't know, it's level 70 or something, we're pretty much 100% dead. Alright, we're running up. Let's uh, hope this goes well. Alright, this world's clear for now. I might just go. I might just risk it. anyone comes, I gotta log out. Oh, fuck, I need to be off that page, that's for sure. Don't use this page, I need that big log out button. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude, right away! It's level 77, he can't hit me anymore. Oh my fucking god, dude, I went- Dude, I caught the snare. I don't know what's wrong with me. I do not know what's wrong with me. Holy shit. Alright, I'm going back in. I'm on the forestry world, and it's very full. I was gonna use the squirkin world, but there were people there, so... I don't know about that one. That's the most risky thing, is the level up. Someone else just logged in, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're going into 523, which is with a squirkin world. It's got 1,800 people. Let's be quick. Oh my god. There's someone right away, dude. Alright, we're gonna try 533, the high risk world instead. 43 prayer. I gotta use all these bones, though. I already brought them here. 14 more. Can't rest until they're all done. 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 We can get out. Nice. Okay, we're officially out of the wilderness with 44, almost 45 prayer. Now that I'm 43 prayer, I can work on doing monkey madness and getting AFK ready so that I can come back in two months from leagues with some really high combat stats. Now this video was brought to you by my merch store, DitterBitter.com. I just released it, and it would mean the world to me if you guys picked up something from the store. The delivery times on them are really quick, and I'm really happy with the designs, so please let me know if you pick something up. Apart from that, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss daily uploads on leagues, and the return of this high-risk hardcore Ironman in the new year.